and welcome back to another episode of RC Icons. So in this episode I just wanted to show you some new trucks that came in. Uh, I just recently did a couple of videos, the heavier side of RC Icons, where I showcased my Tamiya semi trucks as well as my construction equipment. If you haven't seen those videos, definitely go back in my, um, in my video log and take a look at those absolutely epic trucks and absolutely epic construction equipment. Um, really got a good response in the comments um, on those videos. I know I'm a vintage RC channel but uh, this is stuff that I'm into as well. Now I don't know that you'll see any of these builds. Um, if I do do a build it'll probably be done in pictures just because they take so long. But these are some trucks that uh, this one I've had for two and a half years and I just didn't show it in the other videos but I'm going to show it to you today. This is a Lesu semi truck um, that I've had for a while that I haven't even started on but it's absolutely insane. So I wanted to show you that but uh, in my Tamiya semi truck video I talked about how I was on the hunt for a chrome Aero Max and how I was I it was like I can't even find that kit um, and I didn't mean to sound I, I felt like I sounded a little bit like a jackass when I said that like oh I can find anything um, it's really not what I meant um, obviously I'm always on the hunt for kits and I could never ever find a chrome Aero Max but as soon as that video went out, one went up on eBay. So I was able to get a hold of the guy and I did a package deal with him. It's actually a great story. A, his name is Keith. Um, he lives in the U.S. And he had two. And I was able to do a package deal with him and grab two semi-trucks from him. Um, and it helped him with, uh, he had an upcoming surgery. So uh, he's doing well. He's recovering well. I've actually been emailing him back and forth. Um but I was able to help him in the process. So we did a deal, a package deal for two trucks and uh, I was able to help him and he was able to help me. So it worked out great. So let me bring the camera over and I'll show you what we have here. But essentially it's the Chrome Aeromax kit. It's the Chrome Night Hauler kit. I already showed you the Chrome King Hauler kit. So now I've got three Chrome kits, uh, which is cool. I like the Chrome ones. Um, and then I wanted to show you this Lesu truck because this thing is off the hook. Um, I did buy this, so it's a Lesu, but it's a Mercedes uh, Actros. It's a Mercedes Actros. Um, and then it's got a metal toolbox that I bought as part of the kit that's absolutely insane. So yeah, let me bring the camera over and I'll show you what I have here. All right, so we'll start with Tamiya. So the Aeromax. So the Chrome King Hauler, the box is a different box from the regular King Hauler. It's, it shows the regular King Hauler truck on the front, but it's like a silver box to represent the Chrome Edition. On the Aero Max, it's just a sticker of the Chrome truck that they put on the, the standard Aero Max box, which is fine. I mean, I get it. So that's your box there, and then that's your sticker. Chrome metallic special. I can't believe I actually have one of these. these I, I, I don't think they made these in huge numbers to be completely honest. So Keith, the guy I bought this from, had two of them. He's keeping the second one for himself and he actually asked, he's looking for somebody to build it. I told him that he would regret it if he didn't build it himself, but I also told him that I would be happy to build it for him if he wants to have somebody build it. So presentation of the kit. So it looks just like a standard Aeromax kit. Frame rails are in the middle. Uh, they have the protective film on it, like usual. But then you've got your chrome body at the top. So I can't tell. These windows look darker than the typical Aeromax, but maybe they're not. Um, I love the Aeromax, but I'm not a huge fan of the tinted windows, although they look great, but you can't see the detail in the uh, in the cab so you've got all your chrome parts um, on my other Aero Max if you saw the video I have Lesu metal exhaust I've got Lesu everything on that truck I totally did that one up but you've got you've got all your chrome parts and plastic parts um, I don't want to pull everything out but I do want to at least get the body out because I haven't really looked at this truck yet sorry for any noise I'll try to do it over here 
nice. So there's your chrome Aeromax body. It's actually in great shape. There's no scratches on it or anything. Absolutely awesome. This is going to be an epic truck to build. So yeah, you've got your chrome Aeromax body and then you've got your chrome roof scoop and everything else. All your body parts are obviously chrome. The one nice thing about the chrome is you don't have to paint it. Because <laughs> when you're doing a semi truck like this, there's a lot of body parts that you end up having to paint. So you've got your body there. And then there's your chrome roof scoop. I also talked in my last video, I do have a an alloy front bumper still that I never used on my other truck, but it's the chrome's not gonna match, so your chrome side panels. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. I'm assuming the decals, if they're in here, they're gonna be the same as the standard Aeromax. There's not much to them. I don't even know if they're in here. They might be in the box somewhere. Yeah, they're in the box somewhere. Or at least they should be in the box somewhere. I can tell you this, the kit's never been opened because the, the parts box is still sealed. I'm not even going to take it out, I'm just going to end up ripping it. So that's the Aeromax, we'll move on. I'll end up just start building it if I keep tearing into it. <laughs> Love that truck, being a Ford guy. And then the night hauler, it's actually a bigger box. Same thing, regular night hauler box, and then it's just got the metallic sp special sticker on the side. It's got another one on this side. The night hauler is kind of a cross between like a king hauler and, uh, and a Freightliner or an Aeromax with the roof scoop on it, you know? But it's got that squared front end. Um, I've never built a night hauler before, so this one will be fun to build just because it'll be a little bit different it's got a little different look to it I uh, the roof it's funny because the roof scoop I'm not a fan of the roof scoop off the truck but on the truck it it looks good it's just the shape of it but yeah this is a big truck so this is your the presentation of your kit for the night hauler Actually, it looks pretty nice. Good presentation. It's, semi trucks always have a good presentation, but they should. They're not cheap, you know, when you're spending $400 on a kit. The frame rails on the night hauler are down in the bottom of the box. And then, uh, let's see if we can get this one open. This one's taped, not stapled. Get this one open. So there's your night hauler body. Yeah, you can definitely smell a little bit of mustiness as mold spots on the on the chrome, but not a big deal. Uh, you got to be careful not to use my fingers to wipe this because you will scratch the chrome, even just with your fingers. But yeah, so there's your night hauler chrome body. It's bright, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I love it. It's gonna it's gonna be cool having three of them just kind of sitting there all together. I know they did a chrome chrome globe liner, and they also did a Scania. Um, I don't know that I'll try to collect them all. If I see them come up, I'll probably go after them. But um, so this is what I mean. So see how this has that? It's got like kind of a funny shape to it. But when it's on the truck and built, the exhaust kind of hides the fact that that's kicking out on the side like that. It's just a funny shape. So yeah, we've got all our all our chrome parts. And 
Yeah, I'm not going to dig it all out. The chassis rails are down at the bottom. And then these boxes are huge. This reminds me of the tow truck where you just have, holy smokes, that thing is heavy. Um, where you just have tons and tons of boxes. The, uh, the tow truck packaging is insane. It's like box after box after box of just parts. And, and that's how these trucks are. There's just a ton to them. Yeah, this is just all metal. Diffs. Hardware, your wonderful pink shocks that TMA gives you, it's your front end. Metal brackets, metal brackets, metal brackets. It's all metal. There's so much metal. Transmission, your motor, drive shaft, hardware bags. I mean, you look at the hardware bags alone, it's just, it's insane. How much hardware there is in these kits. That one got stapled halfway up, so half the hardware is at the top of the bag. But you look at the hardware in one of these, it's just it's crazy. And then you got all your all your tires. <laughs> Insane. And what's what's funny is there's another box underneath this box and another box next to the box. It's just parts, parts, parts. Crazy amount of parts. More chrome parts. There's your manual decals. I wonder these decals might be different than the standard ones. I don't remember the standard ones having all the all this chrome on them. Just says Night Hauler on it. Doesn't say Chrome Edition or anything. But it may be it might be a Chrome Edition. I'm not sure. I just don't remember these. I remember the red stripes. I don't remember the stripes coming in silver. I don't know if I would do them in silver though, because you wouldn't be able to see anything. And then you get your manual. These builds are awesome. So much fun to build a semi truck. Absolutely love it. And then you get another box of parts here. Definitely sealed kits. But as I usually do, I'm breaking the seals. Parts, all your lenses, your windows, clear windows in this one, transmission gears. Wow, that's metal and it's heavy. I don't know what that's for. Like I said, I've never built a night hauler before, so it'll be fun to build one that's new to me. And then my King Hauler Chrome, I think I'm going to buy a Grand Hauler kit and use the, the, the chrome body to make a uh, chrome grand hauler. I'd rather have the big grand hauler than the uh, king hauler and it shares the body so it's just a matter of the, the bigger chassis. And then I don't know how much else is really different. I think the king hauler is just a shorter version. So that's that. This is a lesso truck. Yeah. Kind of comes like as a ready to run. This one came with a radio. It's a Fly Sky FSI 6S, I think it is. Same one that I showed you before. It's, I use it for all my semi trucks and uh, my semi trucks and um, construction equipment. So Lesu is Chinese. I think it's Chinese. So this is how it comes. It's a nice hard box. You take your bubble wrap out. And then that's your truck. 
So it's already got servos in it. These trucks are crazy money, but they're worth it. It's all metal. It's all metal. The, uh, the plate's metal, everything's metal. And then scale details, metal toolboxes, right? Gas, little uh, jerry can gas tank. Toolboxes, all metal. And then this one is uh, eight by eight. I don't even know if I can get it in frame. Let me do this. So this truck cost me a lot of money, but uh, it's worth it. I mean, the thing is literally all metal. But this is kind of like the, the frame on the tow truck. So you have both front axles steer. And it's so smooth. And then this has um, locking and unlocking diffs. So the diffs have a cable here and they you can either lock all of them or unlock all of them and then it's got all your scale drive shafts but you can see it it's uh it's a true eight by eight and then the wheels are all metal real lug nuts holding them in it's not like just one um five millimeter bolt that holds it together Comes with a 27 turn brushed motor. Like I said, the servos are in it. And then when you build this one up, this was an extra feature that I had bought in at the time. Like I said, I've had this truck two years and have never, I haven't really even taken it out of the box. So this is uh, supposed to be two fuel tanks in there. This is all metal. So again, if I can get it open there's a there's a handle here it comes out to open the door right it's all like brushed aluminum and same on this side and then this sits on the truck say it's here maybe it's here I probably have an easier time if I knew if I knew where it goes but it's something like that I'd have to look, I don't, I don't even know that they give you directions. Um, that's one of the problems with Lesu is the directions aren't the best. And then they, there's your decals, radio directions. So they give you directions for the body. Right? But I don't think they give you directions for like where the truck goes, where the toolbox goes. Maybe it shows it. No. Wiring. Um, I'm not sure if this is a light module. Yeah, it is. So it comes with all the LED lights. There's no sound kit in it, but it does come with the full light kit. And then all of this All of this is uh, the body. New rain brush, oh, speed control. So it does come with a speed control. Holy smokes, that's heavy. Yeah, there's a lot of metal parts in there. 
It does have a sound kit. <laughs> it does have a sound kit. So these are all metal parts to go on the body. More lights and metal hardware. Boy, hopefully all this is in the directions or it's going to be a big mess trying to figure this out. But I just wanted to show you. body on it so this is a project right so I mean you look at how much you still have to assemble yeah the truck came put together but there's still a lot that has to happen for this to be finished and then uh, So that's kind of how it looks once it's all assembled. Of course, there's a million parts that still need to go on here. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've had this one two years and I haven't even started it yet. <laughs> and then I still have like four Tamiya's to do. So obviously I'll get to them at some point, but these are these are long-term projects. It's funny because you see it, you see, you see it in the uh, in the ad, and you buy it, thinking, "Oh, it's going to be awesome," and then and it is awesome. But the the problem is, you know. You buy it and it's all done already and you're excited about it <laughs> and then it comes here and you realize it's gonna take you six months to build it <laughs> and you're like you just kind of cast it off to the side like okay I'll get to it at some point <laughs> here it is two years later I still haven't touched it um, but yeah now that I'm opening it today it's uh it's getting me excited about it again I mean, this thing's got to weigh 10 pounds. It's just cool. There's lights that go in the top of it, too. Let's see if I can remember how this goes in here. It's all padded, foam. Something like that. Let's see if that closes. So I got this from Toucan Hobbies they're on eBay but like I said it comes it's, it's basically like a little ready to run I mean imagine if you had to assemble all that this truck has to weigh 30 pounds it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous with those locking diffs I mean 8x8 eight eight locking diffs that's crazy I gotta get to this truck at some point. I need to just set up a table in here this winter and just hammer down on it um, in my Keith time. Because this thing's gonna be epic. So yeah, that's the Lesu. I didn't show it in my other videos, but I definitely wanted you guys to see it because it is an impressive piece. Man, I, I do not see a manual for this thing anywhere. It kinda sucks. I give you a body manual and that's it. You may have to go online and see if I can download a manual. Unless maybe somewhere in this, once I get into it, there's a memory stick. Lesu's known for that too, where they put their manuals on a memory stick. And uh, and you have to use your computer. So yeah, let me get this cleaned up and I'll bring you back for a closing. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of RC Icons. Um, something a little bit different. Uh, you'll have to tell me what you think. I, I got good responses on the other uh, on the other heavier side of RC Icons videos. So maybe you'll see these again. Um, I don't know if you'll see a full build video of it, or if it you know maybe I do a build and just show you pictures. But they they just take so long to build them that. 
it won't be anytime soon. I know that. Um, I really want to get that lesu done. That thing is impressive. I, I forget, you know, that's been sitting down in my basement for two years, just kind of off to the side and that thing costs some money. Um, but it's absolutely insane. It's all metal. It's got to weigh 35 pounds. It weighs at least double what a Tamiya semi weighs just because it's all metal. But I'm going to have to figure out the directions part of it because I can't, I mean, I can build the body, but to, to have that truck with all light kits and sound kits and all that stuff with no directions is going to be a nightmare. But less who's kind of known for that stuff. You, those are high end trucks. Um, and you absolutely have to know what you're doing to put one of those together. If you're not familiar with Lesu, Lesu builds trucks and construction equipment, like full hydraulic excavators, like I showed you, but it's a kit. So you have to assemble the entire thing. Now it is absolutely on my bucket list to build a cat 37. I think they call it a 374, um, excavator. The thing is massive, absolutely massive, but it literally costs as much as a real car. Um, and you have to assemble it. And I love the building side of this hobby. Um, so it's on my bucket list at some point before, you know, I'm off this earth. I will absolutely assemble, buy and assemble a Lesu, um, excavator. I do know that I've watched Medic built a couple of them on RC Sparks and he seemed to always have issues with, uh, the hydraulic end. I don't know what it is with, um, some of their parts. Sometimes they go together and they're flawless and other times he has issues and then he's dealing with customer service um, with a company in China. And I can just imagine that kind of a disaster. So that's the only thing that scares me about it. But uh, I can't imagine assembling something like that. I have rubber tired excavators, tracked excavators, skid steers, tracked skid steers, wheeled um they just have all kinds of loaders they've got all rock trucks i mean <laughs> sorry i'm rambling now um they just have tons and tons of stuff epic epic stuff though so yeah i hope you liked the video i apologize that i've been rambling um if you're not subscribed subscribe turn on your notifications all that fun stuff give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think of the the, the new trucks and the old truck. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think. Um, should I do a build series on one? You guys tell me. You're the viewers. You have to tell me what you want to see. If you guys want to see me build a truck, I'll build a truck. Whatever. I'm trying to do a vintage RC channel. But this is about the community, right? So if the community wants to see it, I'll do it. Um, but that's completely up to you. I'm happy just doing the vintage cars and then showing you a random video here or there of the trucks. Um, but I just, I love it all. So to me, it doesn't matter what I'm building as long as I'm building. Um, but the vintage stuff is obviously near and dear to my heart. So let me know. And, uh, until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks.